today we will learn about the concept of uh, protoplast protoplasm cytoplasm and cytosol let's suppose we have two cells that is a plant cell and the animal cell this is a plant cell this is a cell wall this is a cell membrane here is the nucleus and here are different types of organelles and here we have the animal cell cell membrane nucleus and organelles now protoplast protoplast is plant cell minus cell wall or animal cell as a whole now coming towards the concept of a protoplasm protoplasm the plant cell minus cell wall minus cell membrane what is a protoplasm wall in animal cell the animal cell minus cell membrane it is protoplasm now coming towards the concept of a cytoplasm so cytoplasm cytoplasm is in plant cell plant cell minus cell wall minus cell membrane minus nucleus while in animal cell it is a animal cell minus cell membrane minus nucleus now coming towards the concept of a cytosol 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 in plant cell plant cell minus cell wall minus cell membrane minus nucleus minus organelles while in animal cell minus cell membrane minus nucleus minus organelles what remains is cytosol the soluble part of the plant or animal so what we learn in the protoplast that in protoplast in plant cell when we exclude the cell wall that is the protoplast while animal cell as a whole is protoplast the protoplasm in plant cell when we exclude the cell wall and cell membrane while in animal cell when cell membrane is excluded it becomes protoplasm the cytoplasm in plant cell when we exclude the cell wall cell membrane and nucleus all these are one excluded the remaining is called cytoplasm while in animal cell cell membrane and nucleus is when excluded it becomes the cytoplasm now 
refer to soul and plant cell when cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus and organelles are excluded into the remaining scars of the soul, the soluble part, while an animal cell when cell membrane, nucleus and organelles are excluded, what remains is cytosol. 